The following segment comes from a full SEC preview episode from Running Out the Clock. If you like what you hear in this segment, then be sure and subscribe to the channel so that you can catch all of our SEC previews, including whether or not we think the teams discussed in these previews will do better, worse, or the same this season. Uh, hey, you know what? Let's jump into it. Vanderbilt. The big question about Vanderbilt this year is, do any of us know anything about Vanderbilt? <laughs> I know that Kyle Sharper is their quarterback. Yes. Um, <laughs> last year was the first time in four years that they threw more touchdowns than interceptions. Oh. Progress. So, that. fold your program, Vandy. Yeah. <laughs> the only things that I really know about, uh, you know, Vandy for years, which was always funny to me had like a defense that was really good at one random thing <laughs> like they had the defense one year not long ago that had the most interceptions in the nation <clears throat> you know they had another defense that like for whatever reason like had the most like tackles for loss in the entire cut it just was the strangest thing because they still were also like not winning more than you know four or five games a year but they had a defense that was really good at one random thing they haven't had that in a while uh, under Derek Mason. Uh, that all kind of came before him, I feel like. This year, yeah, the one thing, the things that we do know is that they brought in uh, Kyle Shermer. He threw 26 touchdowns last year. Um, Sneaky good. Yeah, which is a respectable number for sure um, in in the conference, especially for a team that, you know, finished sixth in their division. Um, they don't have Ralph Webb anymore. Um they uh, they have a defense that gave up just a hair under uh, Arkansas numbers when it comes to yards per play, uh, six point nine yards per play, which is nice. awesome. Uh, and yeah, as Keith pointed out, they a four year streak in which they threw more interceptions than touchdown passes. So the one positive that it seems like is that they um, I don't they know threw, how that happens. I don't know. I mean, well, you get like the other Rogers brother in there. And, and there that's how that happened. They had 243.6 passing yards per game last season with 26 touchdowns, uh, a, a decent passing attack, but do they have anything else that can go with it? Chandler? I mean, that's kind of the big question is what else does Vanderbilt have? I just, I don't think so. I mean, they're, they're, they're they were terrible last year. I mean, they, like they were like, kind of the way that I gauge Vanderbilt every year is like, is what kind of game do they give Ole Miss? Because, because for some reason we always just, <laughs> we always struggle with them. Like it's yeah, always, it's like, always the toughest matchup like of even, the entire year. For yeah, some I mean, even, even the year that, um, even the year that uh, my freshman year there, when Eli was a senior and was playing out of his mind, we beat him. On, yeah, exactly. He's just some guy. Um, we beat him on a last second field goal. I mean, come on, you know, um, and, um, and last year, I mean, Ole Miss boat raced them. I mean, just absolutely destroyed them. And, and I just, I mean, I know it's in Nashville this year, but it's the, in, it, it just, I just, I can't see that being much of a game. And I mean, you look and it's like, well, they, they play middle Tennessee, which that's a toss up. They probably lose in Nevada. They go to Notre Dame. They play South Carolina. Um, they'll beat Tennessee <laughs> state. They go to Georgia. They play Florida. I mean, it's just like. They're gonna get destroyed. Um, may, I mean, it would be hilarious if they beat Tennessee, but I, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I just, I just don't think they're gonna be any good. I mean, I, like they don't have, they don't have talent, and they just don't have talent. <laughs> I mean, like what, like what else do you say? It's they are the only team in this bottom four that we've been talking about here, Keith, that does not have like a new head coach. Like I get that Matt Luke was there last season, but also like totally, Matt, totally, totally different situation. Yeah. Totally different situation. He was not named that. So Keith, we have Derek Mason who's in his fourth year and has not gained any momentum here. I mean, what does that say about the state of the program when you've got a, a fourth year head coach uh, who's where they are? Well, what's, what's really funny is that, um, they bring in Cal Shermer, uh, who has the most prolific uh, passing year in Vandy football since Jay Cutler's se uh, senior year. Yeah. So it's been 13 years since, since they've had a passing attack that good. Um, they got Ralph Webb back last year, uh, who granted he had sort of a down year, but 
still yeah. – They uh, had a lot of offensive line questions. Yeah. That didn't do him any favors. But they have talent on offense, and and they have a worse year than, than the year before. Right. Um, part of it is that their defense was uh, really oh. bad and just got caved in every game after their uh, 3-0 start. Like, right. Like, like badly just run off the field. Was it was it last year that they called out Alabama? Probably, yes. Probably, because they started 3-0 and and <laughs> felt really good about beating um, – We won Bama. Like, J.A., and they called Alabama <laughs> and got beat 59 to nothing. <laughs> hey, hey, they, they might have beat J.A. They didn't beat Prep. Come on now. This is yeah. going to be great jokes for anyone listening that didn't go to – uh, private schools in central Mississippi. Uh, yeah, they yeah. so in their final eight games, they allowed 346 points. That's that's not good. No, 43 and a half a game. Like, that's that is historic bad. Like, yeah, that's it. That's a that's a massive so, and your so, and your coach is so bad that I couldn't even say that phrase right. <laughs> My brain shut down mid sentence. Yeah, I do want to like point out that because you you mentioned about the whole three and zero start. Let's not forget that during those three and zero starts, they also like led the nation in total defense and scoring defense, and then had the massive collapse. Yep. You know, like there was a reason they were thinking. <laughs> so, yeah. and if I'm if I'm not mistaken, the greatest sports journalist in the world, uh, Dan Walken, actually predicted that. Uh, uh, Alabama would not score more than 20 points on that stout. <laughs> so Dan Walken still employed mm-hmm. on that elite defense. Uh, the only silver lining on defense is that they're they're getting a 300 pound nose guard. So uh, uh, you know, good for them. I guess just aim for the ankles and just calls like a dog pile <laughs> and just yeah, almost, almost, going outside. almost hung 57 on Vanderbilt last year and gave up 35. <laughs> <laughs> Cal so that, Shermer. That kind of tells exactly. you that kind of tells you both teams. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Both teams yeah. being. So the you had a drop off of like one less win from 16 to 17. Um and then this past season uh it still was uh all of those issues. Um sorry, I was getting my years mixed up for a second there. You know, you only have like a slight wind drop off, but you still don't have any momentum moving forward. Uh, I mean, row at this point, the question is, can they do enough when you look at everything that they have their, their, you know, if this defense can rebound to become a, <laughs> a defense that might actually be good as opposed to, you know, imploding on itself. Um, all that they have in the schedule they have, is there a chance that they can avoid being last in the East? Well, you can assume an upset from somewhere with Vandy. That's just how Vandy always is. There's some weird upset, but not like a major upset by like Alabama or anybody like that. But maybe a Florida, maybe a South Whoa. Carolina. I'm saying that to come just the egg. Key. Triggered. <laughs> Trigger him. <laughs> just triggered him so hard. No, but they 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 will. There'll be some weird upset, you know, like I'll bet like. You they won't. <laughs> well, they, that's the thing about Vinny. Every every time you pick them to be like the worst, they could get no worse, no worse. But then they randomly beat some good team. Um, what what good team? They beat um. Uh, hey, I'm just trying to say like, positive did, things about Vandy. I don't. We didn't, I really we didn't don't all have the, uh, the Vanderbilt really schedules of the past I mean, five seasons right in front of us right now. Middle Tennessee is not a is not like a gimme for them. Let's just say that that's their first game yeah, of the yeah, year. I, I agree with you there. It's like they're probably going to yeah. lose. I mean, and they then, beat, they beat Kansas State last year. Which say what you will about Kansas State. At that point in time, Kansas State was also ranked. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, but uh, you know, the, but they go on the road against Kentucky, Arkansas, Missouri, and all three of those teams are going to beat Vandy. Like they're not. All three of them are going to beat them, and not just beat them, but like beat them pretty mercilessly. Okay, so two, I, two years ago in Kirby Smart's first year, Vanderbilt beat Georgia. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yep. that's the one. Yeah, they did that one. 
That was 2016. Should have fired Kirby Smart right on the spot. Should have. <laughs> right on the spot. Should have. Just makes sense. Yeah, yeah. nothing really notable 2015. I'm just kind of going back a few years to see what all happens. Uh, really nothing notable before that either. Yeah. Uh, that might, those might have been the only two. Uh, the, the Georgia victory from two years ago and, and Kansas State last year. Although they are going for their third win in a row against Tennessee this year. Yeah. So go Vols. Oh so, Ro, is that the beautiful. deciding point then? If they if they beat Tennessee for the third year in a row, is that the only way that they avoid being in the last? It's the only way, it's the only way Derek Mason could keep his job if he beats. <laughs> if he still has his job at that point. If he still has his job at that point, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, if they beat Tennessee, you know, hey, that's a great year for Vandy. <laughs> name the last <laughs> name the last segment in history where they've beat ten, the University of Tennessee even twice. You know, like mm-hmm. hey. Three years in a row, then yeah, give they need to make a statue for Derek Mason, <laughs> and they're gonna put it at like midfield. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just kind of they do really weird things with all of their arenas and stadiums. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> so no, Vandy's gonna be bad. That's just yeah. I, don't, I was trying to find nice things to say about him and to trigger Keith. Yep. Yeah, the problem is we said the nice stuff at the beginning when we talked about how uh, Kyle Shermer had had a good year and that they were they were, had a good <laughs> passing attack. We should have saved it to the end. Ugh. That's on us. That's on us, Vanderbilt. That's not your fault. That's on us, Vanderbilt. Thanks again for listening to this specific individual team preview. If you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe to Running Out the Clock so you don't miss any more of our SEC previews leading up to this season. You can find the full episode that this comes from by searching for our 2018 SEC preview full episodes. And you'll want to listen to that because we give a verdict at the end of whether or not we feel like the team mentioned will do better, worse, or stay the same. For Running Out the Clock, I'm your friend Joseph Craven. Thanks for listening.